Okay, so the last time I saw Ed was uh, when I left his hospital room in Louisiana. That's the last time I saw him. But when I first saw him in the hospital, it was, you know, a very typical uh, aneurysm scene. He was so, so, so fortunate to survive his surgery. He had a baseball size aneurysm, okay, which is, you know, they, they said what, less than 17% of the people will, will survive that? Less than 17% survive the surgery. And out of those 17% that do, like 80 to 90% of them have severe neurological problems for the rest of their life. Right. They, they were, when I flew out there, they had fired Ed's staff. <laughs> okay. This is how serious it was. They fired his staff because there was no way somebody with that severe of an aneurysm could recover. They told my family that, that I would need round-the-clock care for at least a year. At least. <laughs> at least they said at, at least, least a year, and they, they didn't put any time limit on it. They just said at least a year. If you haven't experienced a miracle in your practice, which which I'm pretty confident you have, this this miracle is it's as good as you get. And remember, I've talked about this work as being a prayer. And when one of your close friends is on the table, you know it to be true. And I'm very serious. And the the first time he I walked in. Uh, you know, he could barely talk, he could barely move, he was all wired up. And the first thing we did is we did uh, Crown Nerve 10, right? You know, it's incredible. Yeah, because you guys have all seen the miracles that happen, you know. Well, I'll tell you something about George Gonzalez. <laughs> because the man, his true heart is, he flew all the way down to Louisiana to take care of me. And that's the reason why I'm here today because, you know, I'm completely recovered. I mean, my neurosurgeon friend who was assisted in the surgery, he calls me up almost every month and says, so how you doing? Are you doing okay? I said, Julian, I'm healed, man. And he said, get out of here. Nobody does that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's been doing neurosurgery for 27 years now. Um, yeah. So I'm just so thankful for George and the way that he is and how much he cares about people, especially people like us in this room. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for saying that.